What's up, everybody? Love you guys. Check this out. So this weekend was kind of hard for me. I'm going to be honest with you. When I look at this life and I look at the things that I've obtained and worked so hard for, because not a, not a thing was ever given to me. I had to work hard, blue collar, hard work. And I earned every little bit of this property that we have, the 30 acres and all of this, the cabin, all this, the house, all of it problem is what I didn't expect is that my health would go south so quick what I didn't expect was I wouldn't be able to make a fist um, the blood clots the allergies the life-threatening food allergies all of a sudden the what my wife and I call episodes where um, I have chronic fatigue just all of a sudden this massive amounts of fatigue where I have to lay down we didn't think about the IBS. We didn't think, we didn't factor any of that into the property. We didn't factor any of that into the dream. Now I'm walking with a cane to make matters worse because my hands and my body started to go into spasms in ways that we can't explain and neither can doctors. And I think the thing that really tipped the, uh, the tip of the iceberg this weekend was I often soak in the tub with Epsom salt. And this weekend, because I'm so weak, I couldn't get out of the tub. Now I am not 110 years old. <laughs> I should be able to get out of the tub. And I remember just sitting there trying every way I could to get out of the tub and I couldn't. And as a man, it was very difficult for me to call my wife in. It was very difficult for me to say, babe, I need your help. And all that I'm saying this. So often when we're living a life, it doesn't always look like what we thought. It didn't always look like what we hoped it would. You know, my whole life, all I ever wanted was this property, this very property I'm sitting on right now. It's my dream. It's the thing I wanted more than anything else. But that doesn't mean that this dream of mine can't change. And it also doesn't mean, my friends, that I can't adapt and still enjoy life right where I'm at. Today, I'm sitting here watching a little indigo bunting not very far from me i've seen hawks and eagles and all kinds of critters come in and out of these woods and walk right in front of this cabin and not care and that makes me very happy and so i have to thank god every morning for the blessings that i do have and enjoy what i've got to the best of my ability sure it doesn't look like i thought well, by this time, I'm supposed to have six-pack abs and look like Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime. At this time, I'm supposed to be handsome. That never happened. <laughs> this coffee is scalding not. But what I can do is count the many blessings that I do have and not allow myself, discipline myself from getting down so low that I don't enjoy it and that I don't enjoy life because I'm not guaranteed tomorrow. I'm not. And I know what it's like to sit in that ER and a doctor tell you, call your wife and kids because we don't think you're coming out of here. When you put yourself into that position and you have that perspective on life, it sure simplifies things. It sure helps you to look around and see how beautiful the world around you truly is. And it helps you to stop sweating the small stuff. And it helps you to start to work with what you do have and to start to focus and doubling down on making the best out of life every day. Because especially when it's almost been taken away from you, you can't do anything but enjoy it. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to drink this hot-ass cup of coffee, and I'm going to enjoy life. I hope you do too. God bless you. If you haven't heard this week, I want you to know that you're loved. I love you very much. I hope this helped.